Hello? No. Oh, okay. Let's uh, poke right. around some more. They have. Tons We've cordoned of off this bedroom. No one can go in there. That is where Paddy sleeps. No guests allowed. Seriously. No, no, no. Look at the art on the wall, though. Oh, piano. Also, look at the art, though. It's like spearheads and some other things. Oh, maybe those are all sword guards. Oh, you know? it could be. Okay, here we go. Oh, he needs three bombs. And C rank is okay? I guess. So? What do you think? Hmm. Uh. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not expect you to deliver something of such fine quality. These are perfect. I will gladly accept them all. Ah, thank goodness. Oh, but what are you going to do with them? You said you need to demolish some rocks. Yes, we use explosives to develop the land. Develop the land? However, much of the land around here is too rough, infertile, and uninhabitable. Using manpower would be hazardous and costly process. That's why I require these bombs! I... I see. I guess bombs are a pretty direct way to solve the problem. But you have surpassed my expectations. I would never find a product of such quality on the market. And even if I did, it would be far too expensive. You have my sincere gratitude. From now on... Your rent is going to be paid entirely in explosives. <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as my first task goes... You pass without question. The room is at your disposal. Really? Alright. Wait, didn't you say that there were two tasks? Yes, now I need you to power level my daughter. She is weak. <laughs> The second request will be more of an ongoing task. If you ever come upon people in trouble here in the city, it will be your duty from now on to help them however you can. Ah, uh, oh, that's kind of vague. But is that what really all there is to do? Oh, you that seen right. the people out of this? For goodness sake. But yeah, so this is how we're going to get the side yeah. quests. Have you seen the people out there? They're helpless. They wander aimlessly to and fro, standing in the rain. <laughs> Sometimes I have to send my guards out to make sure they're not staring up at the rain and drowning with their mouths open. <laughs> Everybody always says that ostriches do it, but the answer is no. Wait, who says ostriches do that? Apparently, oh, is it ostriches or turkeys? There's a bird that people would claim is so stupid that it looks up at the rain with its mouth open and drowns. Really? Yeah, I don't remember which bird it is, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. But is that really all there is to it? That is all. My position demands that I protect the peace of the city, but it's impossible for me to see all things at once. I've been looking for some help for some time now. Common adventurers are great in battle, but hardly ever have any other skills. I thought that perhaps an alchemist like yourself might be a little bit more versatile. So, he's looking for a jack-of-all-trades. That's basically how everyone saw me back home at, at first, too. Hmm. I understand. Then I'll do everything in my power to help out those in need. Thank you. There's a place in the city that gathers all the requests from the people in the area. Oh, thank you. There's the cafe in the Academy District. Are you familiar with it? Oh, I think that's the place I went with Tao the other day. But I didn't notice any requests. The requests are usually posted on the bulletin board. There are also rewards assigned to them, so I suggest you take a look. I'm glad I don't have to worry about the rent. But I still need money for living expenses. I guess I should follow Mr. Abelheim's advice and check out the cafe again. Uh, I think this is fine. So is, if Abelheim is supposed to defend the place... Well, he, is, like, owns half the city. And he owns half the city. Uh, huh. It's... Wait, where is it again? Seemed like military stuff, too. 
Um, the cafe was. Oh, off it's to this one. one. Of the sides, yeah. I thought it was on the other side. But I guess it's further back. Hence why I didn't quite know where it was. There we go. I'm interested in seeing what kind of quests they have. Also, the inside of this place is really pretty. It is. This is a nice waiting room. I like room. the... Also, what is that puny sculpture? It's a little puny statue. But it has a flower growing out of its head. I like their weird language. Looks nice. Is this the bulletin board with all the requests? Oh, Ryza, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're no longer standing out there in the rain. Oh, hey, boss. I, I could ask you the same thing. Well, I was standing outside looking up at the rain, and then a guard came by and shoved me inside and closed my mouth. <laughs> me, I'm looking for work. Wait. You too? So, I, so we're after the same thing, eh? Well, maybe we can compare notes. Huh. So you're going through the same rite of passage as Tao, is, uh, Tao and myself. Everything is so expensive here. I can't believe that rent is even real. Ugh. Oh, that was her saying oh. that. Yeah. It is. Everything is so expensive here. I can't believe that front is even real. Ugh. Yeah. I, too, ha had to face it many times since I came here. That Gherkin Island is really just a rural island with not much money in circulation, even though I'm supposedly rich. You probably could combine all the money we had on the island, and it still won't be enough to pay even a single month of rent here. I'm not sure it is quite that bad. Although, we did mostly barter back home. Hey there, boss. Who's your friend? Oh, I'm Rizalyn Stout. But please, call me Riza. Mm, I am Zephine. Nice to meet you. Zephine Baduin? Ooh, Baduin? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> so... Doom. So, what were you two talking about? Love and romance? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. We were talking about uh, how we uh, don't... Uh, 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 oh, yeah, you're right. We were talking about how we don't have any money. Aw. And here I thought you might have gotten yourself a girlfriend. So, nothing romantic at all, huh? <laughs> She's from my hometown, and like I said, we were just discussing our finances. Um, I didn't expect you to be looking for work too, boss. Ah, the future doesn't look too bright, does it? If you want money, you need to work. That's just how it goes. Tao and I went through the same thing. Oh, Tao went through the same thing. Now, but then he got his job as a personal tutor, so now he's doing okay for himself. Oh, that's right. He's Patty's tutor, huh? But Boss here prefers to do tough physical jobs. If you know what I mean. <laughs> He's just a jiggle <laughs> It's like this no, secret no, board. No, don't you, don't you dare imply that. I do the rough work, if you know what I mean. That's because they pay well. Ryzer, you can probably get plenty of jobs making things with alchemy. Yeah, maybe. I sure hope there's something I can do. What exactly can you make with that? Uh, what was it? Alchemy? It's not really one specific type of thing, really. Basically, I can make just about anything. Which is why Mr. Abelheim told me about the bulletin board here. Oh, he did. You don't... I don't know about alchemy. But if he recommended you, you're okay by me. There are all kind, different kinds of jobs. So take a look. I'll be counting on you. All right. Request details.
Hmm. Party oh. quests. Yeah, that's just use core items. Mm hmm Is everyone clueless about magic, people ask? I think yeah, it's because much. alchemy is supposed to be kind of this, like, really niche magic. I, I think the there's, ancient like, much... ancient magic. Yeah, there's much more traditional magic that, that a lot outlawed. of other people have access to. But alchemy is kind of this, like, weird, kooky science magic that only a couple people but actually bother to know. But didn't they imply that there were a bunch of ancient people that closed themselves off and all died terrible deaths? Remember how there was that one... Well, yeah building yeah so they they uh part of the reason why alchemy is so rare is because the one of the previous civilizations i forget the name of it they mentioned it earlier uh but clint? they were really yeah clint they were really big on alchemy and then ended up summoning murder bugs that wiped them all out and since they were the civilization that really specified uh, specialized in alchemy uh, when they got wiped out, there wasn't much left. Okay. Rise's reputation will go up. More difficult quests will begin to appear. Okay. People might also find her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and since you're new around here, let me give you this. It's an old spare from the cafe. But we got a map. map. Hey, nicely World illustrated map. one. So Even... there's Ashra Am Baird, which is where we are currently. New waterfall areas, a weird crystal pit, some mines. It looks like a bunch of mines down south. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that really the port that we came in all the way on the right? Yes, so. So then, what are those beautiful gardens? Don't know. Over there, a bunch of windmills. Ooh, there's a big skeleton up there. Wait a minute, big skeleton, skeleton tree. Ooh. Wait a minute, the tree, the city, the star. That big empty spot up there with the mountains is that where the dragon lives? There might be something there, yeah. I think that's where the dragon lives. All right. So, press that one in the field to open the world map, display the names of the places you've been to, and we can just fast travel. Hell yeah! Oh, thanks! The city is so big, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Well, I don't have time to be looking after others, so good luck taking care of yourself. <laughs> ah, it might be cutting it close, but... I think I'll be okay if I can just start making money right away. Maybe I should head back to my place for now. Okay, worm is here. The worm is here. A worm showed up in the march marshes or something? Wait, did you already have a, a bunch quest of these. that you can yep. fulfill? Yep, so it looks like a lot of these are random, but they give skill points, which is really helpful. Mm, ooh. Or money. Yeah, so a lot of these we can do. It looks like they're just totally random random generated side quests. Give some of those honeycombs and bones. I will. Yes. So Wander have been watching Chroma Squad, Fell Seal, and Monster Sanctuary. Which would you recommend? I fell seal we never finished unfortunately but yeah. I did enjoy what we did play it, it was good I would say monster sanctuary is the top uh, among those followed by fell seal followed by chroma squad chroma squad is wild uh but it is by and far the most the quote unquote inferior game I it's super fun and I highly recommend it but it it just uh it doesn't have the mechanical density that the other ones do Okay. Oh, I see. I have to get the other one. So I have to fight mini wyverns somewhere. Okay. And then get some dried lumber. Oh, that was easy. Uh, let's see. Exits over here. I guess I'll just walk out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Mon Monster Sanctuary is a game that I honestly can't wait to play again. <laughs> uh... 
so there are modders that are actually adding a randomizer uh, mod to it, as well as like more monsters and some other things, which I am over the moon about because that would make things really interesting. Is it perpetually raining here? It's Portland. No, it is not. It's Portland. I guess. Wow, I really can just zoop all over the place. I love it. An exhausting first day in the city, huh? Or second day? Forget which. I think it's still the first day. Oh, there's the egg. Egg. Could have put it on a pillow. I don't think she think knows it's an egg. Oh, I think I've taken care of all my most pressing problems for now. But there's still no time to relax. If I'm not careful, I'll be out of money before I know it. Uh, and we've only just started exploring the ruins, too. Tao's doing his research. That will probably take a while, and I can't really do anything to help. Hmm. Ugh. And this thing is a total mystery, huh? Wait, did it just move? Is she even facing it? Where is it? Hmm. There's still much I so there's still so much I don't understand. Including that stone that Mr. Moritz gave me. Oh Huh? Oh What what's going on? Ah! Oh it's so adorable, little carbuncle winged fox Man, thing. why didn't the carbuncle in Final Fantasy VII Remake look like this? I know, it looks like a terrible Pomeranian. Yup. This thing is adorable. It's so cute. What? What the? Huh? Fee. What? What are you? Huh? Okay, uh, uh, let's just... Calm down. Uh, so, that stone wasn't a stone, but some kind of egg? My baby! Just, like, echoing <laughs> across the mountains. <laughs> but how long has it been slumbering? Watch this be the dragon. Oh. This is the baby dragon. It's going to be enormous That's someday. a fairy. I know, I know it's supposed to be the fairy, but... Oh, well. I already read that. And for some reason, it just hatched? You're not going to fight me, are you? You you're not afraid of me. You know, you're actually kind of cute. Wait, hold on just a second. Let's see. It should be around here somewhere. Is she gonna put a bell on it or something? What's going on? Here it is. Oh, it's her old necklace. It's perfect. Now all you need is a name. I wish they had incorporated it around it a little bit better. Because mm -hmm. it looks, looks kind of like goofy. Floating. Yep. Now, the interesting thing is, I wonder if that's supposed to be her old necklace, which is why she's wearing the key necklace, mm, but we mm -hmm. have the character model where it's the old necklace, so <laughs> it's kind of... Whoops, cloned. Fee. Yeah, let's call you Fee. 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 Tow, tow. <laughs> no, you're just <laughs> you talking about outside the, the it's creatures cow, it's like, that uh... say their own names. Okay, as of today, you are officially Fee, and I'm Ryza. Fee! But what kind of creature are you? I've never seen anything like you before. The only monsters I've ever encountered are the ones that I beat over the head with my staff and use for resources, but what are you? <laughs> In any case, if anyone should know, 
It's probably Tao. I should go ask him. Tao, I hatched a baby. What do I do? What? Also, this was, you know, the Moritz family heirloom. I'm still surprised that she didn't mention it to Boss, even at the bar. No oh, yeah, your dad gave no me No one a... gives a dang about Boss. Have you uh -huh. noticed how he's not a playable character in either game? He, I, he is purely just there as window dressing. They're like, oh, yeah, Boss exists. Uh, oh, right. Mm -hmm. You know what's convenient that I should probably remember to do? Just teleport. Yeah. Warps me pretty much right next to him. Man, fast travel is lovely. Actually, they're both there. Hey, boss. Oh, I don't care about you. Oh, uh, wait. B is just hiding? Hey, Tao, can I, um, talk to you? Ah. Oh, hey, Ryza. Sure. What, what on earth is that thing? Yeah, this is what I wanted to talk to you about. You don't happen to know what this is, do you? Hey, you s stay away from me. Me? Uh, um, well, I don't really know. I, I don't know too much about animals. Where'd you find it? You know that stone Mr. Moritz gave me? It turns out it wasn't a stone at all. It was some kind of egg. Oh, actually... Maybe you know, boss. A stone? Uh, yeah. Father did show it to me a few times. Apparently, one of our ancestors brought it home from a faraway land, but... It was an egg. Oh, it looked like some kind of gemstone. I guess that would explain why Dad wouldn't stop sitting on the damn thing. <laughs> oh! What should I do? Mr. Moritz trusted me to look after it. And this is what happens. The weird part is he wouldn't stop clucking the whole time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll forget all about it sooner or later. He was wanting to sell it on the black market, so, uh... Uh... That's not happening anymore. Really? Well, if you're sure, that's a relief. Right, Fee? Fee, you already named it. You're planning to keep it as a pet, aren't you? Why not? I have to admit, I'm kind of intrigued myself. Is it? <laughs> oh, listen. He's talking back. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sounds like he's having fun. Huh. Fine, do whatever you want. It's not like I have to take care of him. So, Ryza, I was thinking we should check out those runes again. Huh? Why now all of a sudden? Because of Phi. Fee? The egg it was hatched to, uh, the egg it was in reacted to something in those runes, didn't it? If we go back, we might learn something new. I'm wondering if Fee will react to something in there. Fee? Um, maybe you're right. Okay, then let's go back. I assume you can't go without uh, with us, boss? Sorry. <laughs> Is he actually going to join? I am a damn coward. Even though he's the one that's supposed to like the physical work, he can't lift a sword? Or... I suck. What in about... Pe oh, sorry. I, I was just going to say, in the first game, I was all full of myself. Then I had to fight a dragon. That didn't work, so I just gave up on combat entirely. You'll see me as a playable character only maybe in the third game, but probably not. <laughs> what about Patty? She's really busy with her schoolwork, so I think it'll just be you and me this time. And this is how we meet up with probably that random girl? Mausoleum of Eternity. Well, that's a name. Mausoleum of Eternity. Gosh, I love fast travel. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Prismatic rainbow lights. Fee is glowing again. Just like the egg did before. Yeah, and maybe it's just my imagination, but he seems way more energetic, too. Fee! 
If only I could understand him. Not that something like that would ever be possible. This thing is moving again, too. I have a feeling it's some kind of measuring device. Let's keep moving. Right now, we need to examine these runes first. Yep, so, grand adventure just around the corner. Huh. I wonder what... Doesn't seem like there's any new creatures here. It might be weirdly quiet for some reason. Mm-hmm. Maybe because there's more of a boss monster near the end? Do not know. I get the feeling we were going to just be playing a silly amount of this game. Yeah, all the monsters are gone. Oh. I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. Ashen sand, soft sand, the nameless grass. I don't like doing this is giving him a headache. What, just reaching down and grabbing things? I hate lifting anything. Strap it to my back. Bees. Bees. Oh, we really need to make that honey stuff. Oh, the cheesecake or something else? A special honey. Honey gelatin cheesecake. Yeah. I mean... I got I got gelatin specifically for that. That very purpose. Yeah. You just have to kind of be the one to spearhead these things. I think we need to do it on a day off. Yeah. Because that, that recipe looks like it's one of those ones that requires hours of preparation. I, will, I have no idea how this week's going to go because I'm doing that stream thing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I will be taking a day off or if I'll take Friday off instead. Mm -hmm. Would be a good day for it. My problem is like... People are saying monsters are terrified of Fee. It, it could be that Fee is a fairy dragon. I mean, kind of, maybe. Fairy dragon. Uh, let's see. My one problem with taking a day off is I'm currently, like, pretty happy with the stuff that we've been recording. Mm -hmm. You know, Dyson Sphere program, this game. The only games I'm kind of uncertain about are the indie game lightning round games that I've kind of maybe got queued up. Because I haven't been terribly passionate about a lot of the, like, little tryout games that I've been playing lately. They're all just kind of, eh. I forgot that those holes existed. The crawly holes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The weird part is she slides forward while she's, like, standing up. It looks really strange. Hey, give me the irreverence. Foamy water. The irreverence for ancient items and objects. How dare you? Is there... There's, like, a ceiling over this. Yeah, okay. it's a weird cave ceiling. Oh, well, there we go. At the mural again. What's this? It wasn't here last time. Maybe Fee really is the key to the whole thing. It's so bright. Ah! So, this is where my final adventure comes to an end. Wait. It could be a guy, depending on who left the notes, but who knows. The compass of recollection and beast of light have led me this far. I can go no further. But something's not right. What am I missing? Who's there? Ryza, are you okay? Me! What happened to you? I heard a voice. Looks more masculine. It could be a guy, yeah. Ah! Who, who are you? What? It looks like some kind of phantom. Yeah, it's that's a dude. Mm-hmm. You know if this was a lady, yeah, they a would guy. not have nearly as level of, like, musculature. A phantom? Not a real person. 
but like a vision were being shown. What's going on here? But who on earth was that? Uh, excuse me? No response. It came and went really fast, but I heard a voice. What voice? I heard someone talking directly in my head. He said something about his adventure ending here. Yeah, he. And the compass of recollection, a beast of light. Oh, Fifi is probably the, yeah. the beast of light. I'm pretty sure it was this person who said it. Somehow. Oh, and then there's this. I think this is the compass of recollection. And I think it's used to activate the ruins. Navigate. Or navigate, sorry. Navigate the ruins. And the beast of light. That might be Fee. It did react to him after all. Wow, Ryza. Even I wasn't able to figure out that much. No, I didn't hear any kind of voice in the first place. Really? I saw the glowing fragment, but nothing happened when I touched it. I don't know why it's different for you. Maybe there are more clues somewhere. You're right. Let's keep going. The Compass of Recollection. Show you remnants of memories and hidden in the runes. When it's activated, it'll show you rune fragments and memory vestiges can be located in the runes. I always like it when there's more lore mm -hmm. because... You know, I I said so this a while ago, but like this really does feel like just such a massive improvement on the first game. You want to read this? Okay, sure. When you open your map in the ruins, you will also be able to see the sensor map due to the effect of the compass. Okay. The sensor map will show you the locations of all nearby ruin fragments and memory vest vestiges. When you are in the ruins, you'll be able to see simple location indicators on the map. Open the sensor map when you get a response. Ruin fragments and memory vestiges. Ruin fragments and memory vestiges are the clues to solving the mysteri mysteries of the ruins that were awakened by the compass of recollection. The yellow lights that you see are the memory vestiges these are the remnants of records of the past that can be found in various places. The blue lights represent ruin fragments. The fragments appear in locations when certain events had happened in the past. Collecting fragments and memories will allow you to progress through the ruins and unlock new areas. Ooh. <laughs> just closing one eye because the bright light. All compass right. is now active. Without him, the compass will not move. It will seem this is where my journey comes to an end. To uncover the great truth, I would need to master the art that transcends human knowledge, which is something I can never hope to obtain. Alchemy. Wait, wasn't there a torch back there? Why don't you light it? Oh, these? I don't. I don't think these are ones that I like. Light. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hey, think can you look at the mural again? Kind. For a moment. Okay, so we got a star. We've yeah, because there's the city, the weird crystal whirlpool, the tree, which looked like it was dead, in the map. Yeah, there's just a weird dragon thing. What was the last symbol? A shooting star? Oh, yeah, you're right. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe that's what Fee is. Maybe the egg comes from space? From Spache. Yes, I found a clue. No, nothing here. That's neat. What's the reference to anime is real? It's from Undertale. Uh, there's two characters 
uh, one of which is like a massive nerd. And uh, I guess to placate them, or I don't remember what the conversation was, but they were like really distraught at the idea of anime not being like a real thing after getting way too invested. One of the other characters is like, no, 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 anime is real. And they're like, yes. It's been years since I played Undertale, so I'm starting to lose the details. Ooh, look at that. Ruin Explorer. I, this could be... No. It can't be it. Wait, did you see Final Message? Are we going to have a bunch of lore notes? Maybe. I need more information. Oh. Ryza, did you find out anything? Maybe. Let's see what we've learned until now. A fortress li lies beyond the five seals. A mantle obscures the darkness of night. The great sorcery beyond all man's knowledge is a treasure created from nothing. Until daybreak, the fortress yet sleeps. Do not disturb the slumbering maiden of the valley. Eternal treasure, the traveler, the traveler, the beast that devours evil, takes form as a mysterious spirit upon the evening path. Hmm. Open the Exploration Diary. All right. In the Exploration Diary, Ryza writes down information about the ruins and her own thoughts. On the top, you can see the ruins that you have visited. Press A to select the ruins that you are currently exploring. This is the analysis screen. The ruined fragments you picked up will be shown here as images. Here you can see the ruined fragments that you've discovered. Press A to select it. When you select a ruined fragment, you will see the entry summarizing its contents. You'll need to fill these entries in with the memory vestiges that you find in the ruins. All memory vestiges will have their des des designated spots. Oh. Try placing a memory into the glowing spot. All right, confirm with A, left stick. Oh, Explorer's Memory 6. The explorer who had spent many years exploring the ruins lost his partner and eventually gave up. He said the path to truth was closed to him as he lacked an art that transcends human knowledge. Okay. Keep reading the tutorials first. Let's get through that before we read the These are all the memory the vestiges stuff. that you've collected. Pick out the one that will fit into the spot you selected. Oh, so is this one of those things where we're putting in yeah, the story? Yeah, we're, we're completing it. Because mm -hmm. remember, uh, this is in the journal, probably, and how it said it's incomplete. The name of the selected memory vestige can be seen on the left side of the screen. Okay, and then you can use up and down to switch between them. Okay. The beast and the compass, and then there's the seeker of truth. Yeah, shall keep reading oh, the yeah. tutorials. Okay, sorry, sorry. If a memory vestige has a strong connection to a certain person, you can press Y to hear their words. Analyze the contents of the memory vestiges and find the right answer. This one looks like the right choice. Press A to select it. The compass that had been passed down in our family for generations was always silent. However, after an encounter with a phantom beast, it suddenly began to move. It was as if it reacted to the phantom beast. Okay, writing is through ready to read. Only had more information, making thoughts take shape, guided by the phantom beast. Yep. Okay. You placed the correct memory. Now try another spot. The phantom beasts sense the memories left behind by people. They can give them shape. The compass will show where the phantom beast's interests lie. You place the correct memory. The piece of information between the two memories has uncovered automatically. Or was uncovered automatically. There also seems... Oh... There are also mystery slots that will have no hints attached to them. 
More information will become uncovered as you place memory vestiges into the spots connected with the lines. <clears throat> Alright, now I suppose you have to place the remaining spots up above? Yeah. Is that it? Yep. Complete. 500 skill points and a branch of the skill tree. We have a new skill on the skill tree. Honey pot. <laughs> Other things. Axe. Arrows? Hmm. Oops, sorry about that noise. It's from my water bottle. When you complete Ruin Fragments, the skill tree will grow according to the number of completed items. You will also receive SP and other rewards for completing ru Ruin Fragments. The Exploration Diary is essential for solving the mysteries of the ruins. Don't forget to check your diary when you collect Memory Vestiges and Ruin Fragments. And then press B to exit. Okay. Okay. Beginning so and end. The explorer met a phantom beast in this rune, and together they explored many places, but he lost the phantom beast and gave up on his exploration. We met the phantom beast in this land and set out on a great journey of exploration, but we were not able to reach the truth. Hopefully someone in, the fu in future generations will carry on in our stead. The phantom beast connects with people's minds to convey their will throughout without using a language. That's good. That means Fee will never actually speak words. <laughs> the explorer relied on the phantom beast's powers to explore various lands. I don't know the ancient language, but for some reason I was able to understand them easily. I think the phantom beast has connected our minds somehow. Do you need to collect the reward? Or is it already collect? It will be updated when you complete each image. When you don't have an image selected, the overall information about the ruins will be displayed. It will contain some important information regarding the mystery of the ruins, so don't forget to check it out! That's all you need to know about the diary. You can open it at any time by pressing the on the map. You can also open it okay. directly. This is all just theory, but I may have figured out some things based on what you said. Whoever this person was, he was investigating the ruins just like us. We don't know how long ago, or whether he's even still alive. But he came to explore, and gave up. That would explain... Uh, uh, that would explain oh. why he looked so depressed. Okay. Maybe. Whatever the case, there's a chance that the compass and fear the key to exploring these ruins. Forgetting the compass for now, how could Fee be the key? Fee. Fee, 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 fee! Oh, what's this? Oh, wait a minute. Isn't that ornament inside Patricia's father's house? Uh, I thought I saw it on the wall. It's some kind of ornament? An ornament, or depending on how you look at it, a key. It's too well shaped to just be Debris or junk. Debris. Debris. I know you like saying that just to... And we did find it in these runes. It might be important. We should take it with us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Either way, there has to be more to the runes. It did say, didn't it? Do not disturb the slumbering maiden of the valley. I think that's telling us there are runes within a valley somewhere. So if we search the nearby valleys, we might find what we're looking for. But don't disturb her! And the more runes we can find, the closer we'll get to the truth. Whatever the case, it sounds like we need to gather more info about other ruins. Let's head back for now. Oh no. They're on a date without me. <laughs> <laughs> and now we walk back. Uh, let's see, cafe. I will always just warp back to the cafe first just to just see to if there's more quests. Stuff. There are no yeah, more quests. No more quests. Oh, man. 
no load times are so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is fee? Fee. 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 Are you sure you should be crafting all this ingot? You don't yeah. know what you'll need to craft next. We still want the highest quality stuff. And we can easily go get more. Oh, look, they even added Fee to the alchemy screen. Oh, and this is cute, too. Yep. Oh, so there's a, a pause screen specifically for with them in the atelier. Mm-hmm. That's lovely. And Fee is an adorable little fluff. It really is. But is it a feathered fluff? Seeing as how it has I wings. I don't know. It might just be a floofy fluff. The fluff? Lethal fluff of fluff. Oh, increase the quality of standard gathered items. Dang. Okay. I. So grab that real quick. I really like this skill grid. This feels good. Mm -hmm. Bomb rod recipe, staff quality. At this point, you've spent all your points. Yeah, for now. I'll get more. Let's see. But the most important part is we should be able to make... Oh, do I need lumber? Mm hmm. But you don't have an axe yet, so you can't really make lumber out of the trees yourself. I think... I'm gonna try going a place 